How far have we come? We have come an incredibly long way. Um, cases of HIV, diagnoses of HIV per year have dropped by two-thirds since the 1980s, which is incredible, but we have reached a plateau and we need to continue to um, use new strategies to continue to um, lower diagnoses and end the HIV epidemic. So what is, it, what is HIV positive look like in 2019? The amazing thing about 2019 is that there's so many new treatments uh, if a person is diagnosed quickly and gets on medicines, there is virtually no change in life expectancy. The medicines are incredibly powerful. And within a fairly short amount of time, a person can become virally suppressed, which means the virus is at an extremely low level in their body and that they can't transmit the HIV virus to sexual partners. So that brings us on to undetectable equals untransmittable. Mm -hmm. What does that mean in this day and age for, for the person who sits at home and says, oh, well, HIV doesn't affect me, you know, I, I have nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the concern for so long is that, you know, HIV is a virus, it's transmittable. And what the science shows now is that if someone is HIV positive and they become virally suppressed, they cannot transmit to their sexual partners. And they found this out through four very large studies that followed of HIV positive persons who were virally suppressed and none of them transmitted virus to their partners if they were if they were virally suppressed so zero transmissions in four very large studies so it's in very powerful evidence that there's effectively no risk of transmitting HIV if you are virally suppressed so then what do you say to say people who say HIV doesn't affect me you know I'm I'm married with three kids at home why do I I don't what do I need to know about this well, I think um, it's important for people to know about HIV because there's a large number of people in the United States who are HIV positive. We think there's about 1.1 million people in the United States with HIV. About 85% of them are diagnosed. And attitudes towards people with HIV affect their health decisions. So um, if you, even if you're not HIV positive, having a positive attitude towards a friend, a family member, um, a relative who is HIV positive helps them feel better about themselves, helps decrease stigma, and helps them reach out to a doctor to get care, to become virally suppressed, mm -hmm. and to take care of themselves. Okay, so you mentioned that key word stigma right yes. there, and as an HIV person, HIV positive person, I know all too well about the stigma. There are a lot of people who say, yeah, but you deserve, you know, I've, I've been told I deserve HIV, these are lifestyle choices I've made. How do we get this message out there now, and how does the CDC make sure that healthcare professionals, community organizations are now telling this message because there is resistance. Mm -hmm. Well, so we have a, a, a great campaign, an anti-stigma campaign called Let's Stop HIV Together. I've heard of this I campaign. Know you have. Shocking. It, it's, it's a campaign that um, engages HIV positive persons and friends, relatives, family members to tell their story through various media outlets, to tell, telling stories about um, what it's like to be HIV positive and some of the reactions they've received. Um, and many people, in a, in, including yourself, I think, were surprised at the upwelling of support you, you received when you, when you did reveal that you were HIV positive. There's a lot of support out there, and, but the fear of HIV and the fear of HIV in general is what, what, stig what, what, is, is what stigma is, and it keeps people hidden, it keeps people in the shadows, it keeps people not going to the doctor to become virally suppressed. So we're trying to push the message out about the importance of, for all of us, that stigma is everyone's issue, reaching out to people who are HIV positive to decrease that stigma. It's not just as simple as, uh, in my opinion, you know, the great campaign we do. We have to hit it hard mm -hmm. and hit the market and the, and the mass, masses hard. General, uh, per, general population we're trying to reach, but also providers. Providers are really important members of our audience because they see HIV positive persons, they treat HIV positive persons, and we will try to decrease stigma among the provider community as well. And I think the, you started your question by saying why is it so important now it's, and, and why is it so important for people to care about this because with the tools we have now we actually have the opportunity to end the HIV epidemic. So a new federal initiative came out this year in February of 2019 that aims to end the HIV epidemic in 10 years in, um, in the United States. And we, as Dr. Fauci said last night at the plenary, we absolutely have the tools. The challenge will be in the implementation, and part of the implementation is getting the message out to the general population, getting the message out and getting um, 
anti-stigma campaigns out so HIV is not so stigmatized. You know how dangerous stigma is. I know how dangerous yes. stigma is. How dangerous is stigma? How dangerous are those comments? The simple comments of, are you clean? Um, oh, it's a gay thing. How dangerous is that for people? I mean, I think every stigmatizing comment closes a door. And I think of the kind of an, uh, uh, the anti-stigma campaign, uh, Let's Stop HIV Together, really is about opening doors. So I, I think from my own experience, maybe from your experience, each stigmatizing comment you hear in your life, whether it's a, a boss, a friend, a, a relative, closes a door and closes mm -hmm. a, an, an opening for genuine dialogue. And really, genuine dialogue is important to to overcome stigma um, in this in this time in the HIV epidemic. So, closing message: What do you want people who are listening to you and I talking now? What's the, what is the key message you want them to really understand and take pause and think about? I mean, the, I think there's a number of messages. Share them with <laughs> but, them. Let's but, hear them all. But I mean, a key message, the broadest message, is that we do have the tools to end the HIV epidemic, and we're very excited about that at the federal level, at the community level, the health departments are very excited, the community is very excited. I think thinking about our campaign is important to address stigma and it's important to reach out to HIV positive persons. We all have the power to reduce stigma in the lives of our, our friends and family. Um, and so the importance of reaching out and addressing stigma is it's just crucial to help end the HIV epidemic. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you taking the time. Let's so stop much. HIV stigma together. <laughs> <Yeah>. Perfect. <laughs> Great, thank you.